part for a customer and using one of my favorite filaments, Proto Pasta Matte Fiber PLA in this really cool blue color. And I hadn't used it in a while and started the print and woke up the next morning to check it out and I was extremely disappointed. Uh, many of you have probably witnessed the same sort of problems before and let's see, I, I duplicated it on this little pyramid print and as you can kind of see there's a lot of stringing. So, so the stringing can be the result of many different causes. Uh, one of the first ones obviously can be retraction settings but I'm using PLA and I'm using the slicer uh, settings provided by Prusa for the Prusa i3 Mark II with PLA and it prints PLA pretty fantastic. Uh, Proto Pasta is normally a good filament brand uh, and I've printed with this before and never had this problem before. So it really narrowed it down to one one possible cause of this and that's basically I must have left the filament uh, out in atmosphere too long and it absorbed some moisture. So even at the temperatures you extrude PLA at, for example 215C in my case, that's a high enough temperature where even a little bit of moisture in your filament can create problems. Basically that moisture trapped in the filament or absorbed into the filament begins to boil. Uh, and e even when you do a normal retraction, what happens is the filament still has a little bit of pressure behind it. Not from the extruder drive gear anymore, but because that moisture in the filament is boiling off and turning to vapor and expanding and still pushing filament out when you're moving from point to point and you don't want filament extruding. This is telltale oozing from that. So what can you do? There's actually a pretty easy fix, and it's a simple heat gun. A hair dryer may even work. Basically, you're going to heat the part up with the heat gun, and these little strings are just going to disappear. I'll show you that in a moment. The more long-term solution, obviously, is to dry your filament. Uh, I purchased a food dehydrator recently, and I'm going to give it a shot over the next few days to try to dry this filament back out and see if this symptom goes away. Uh, I'll post a new video on that after I get a chance to try it. So the filament arrives to you dry, uh, in a sealed bag typically with desiccant. Uh, it's then your job to keep it dry and one way you can do that is with a dry box. You've got a couple options with a dry box. You can print one like this. It's almost entirely 3D printed. Really cool design. Or you can build one from a Tupperware container or a variety of other materials. Just something to keep the filament so that it doesn't uh, have access to moisture laden air. As you may be able to hear in the background, it's actually raining right now and the humidity in the summer is really going to skyrocket, especially in Ohio, over the next few months. So it's really important if your printer is exposed to atmosphere that you try to keep it dry. So finally I'm going to show you now how to use the heat gun to remove the strings from this 3D print. It's actually going to seem like magic. As you can see, it worked really well. There's virtually no strings left. You might have to be a little careful in general when using the heat gun, uh, especially with smaller sections that you don't overheat the base plastic and cause it to warp or do something weird. In general, that's not too difficult to do because the strings melt relatively easily and your larger sections of your part should be much bigger and take a lot more heat to create a problem. But obviously, if you do something silly and leave the heat gun just in one spot for a long period of time, you could uh, seriously warp the part. I hope that helps if you have to deal with filament exposed to some moisture and uh, tune into the next video where I'm going to try to dry the filament in a food dehydrator. So hopefully that works well. I'm excited to try it and try to restore this filament so I don't have to worry about stringing anymore. As always, I hope this video helped you. If it did, consider subscribing so you can check out my next video on how to dry your filament using a food dehydrator. Thanks again.